Thomas the tank engine was grumbling to the other engines. Grumble, grumble, grumble. What is it, little Thomas? Gordon asked. It's not fair, he began. How come I have to spend my time pulling coaches about just so you lot can take them on journeys? Because you're a shunter, Thomas, Edward pointed out. It's literally your job. Well, I'm sick of it. I want to get out and see the world. Do you have any idea how boring it gets being stuck in the same place? That would actually be pretty annoying, Henry concurred. Perhaps we should let the little fellow take one of our trains on occasion. I have a better idea, Gordon began. How about we don't? And why not? You're too impatient. You're bound to leave something behind. Like what? The entire train? I don't think so. All right, little Thomas. If you're so sure you can pull passenger trains, you can take the express tomorrow. Really? You're not having me on, are you? No. By all means, have at it. Okay, I will. And you'll see how a real engine handles passengers. The next morning, Thomas couldn't leave the shed fast enough. He collected the coaches and brought them to the platform. In no time at all, he was off. He was delighted by this change in routine and scenery. He got to see parts of the island he never knew existed. He arrived at the first station ahead of schedule. Edward was very impressed. I'm very impressed, he began. Even Gordon never arrives this early. I guess he just doesn't know how to properly handle passengers, Thomas boasted. Thomas, where are your passengers? They're in the coaches. No, they're not. Thomas was horrified to discover Edward was right. His coaches were completely empty. He then realized after he brought them to the platform, he hadn't actually stayed long enough for anyone to get on board. Thoroughly humiliated, Thomas slunk back to the big station. When he arrived, he not only found angry passengers, but a very amused Gordon. Well, well, little Thomas, he began. I now see the proper way to handle passengers is to not deal with them. Brilliant! The passengers got on board and Thomas departed. Though he was very late arriving at each station, he nonetheless did well. Even so, the fat controller decided to not put him on any more passenger trains for the foreseeable future. That night at the shed, it was only he and Gordon. The big blue engine made the mistake of teasing his colleague. The next morning, Gordon was found in a ditch. Nobody knows how it happened, and he never told, but he made sure to never tease Thomas again. Thank you.